Hello fellow Pokemon fans, I'm Brasscoin and welcome to my channel for my first ever Pokemon Go related video. I'm excited to be able to do this video and am doing it in partnership with iMyPhone Any2. iMyPhone Any2 is a computer software program that allows you to spoof your location inside Pokemon Go. Now I am a pretty avid Pokemon Go player and I do enjoy being able to get out in nature, get out in the city, walk around and catch Pokemon. However, if you're also anything like me and you either live in the middle of nowhere where there's very little Pokemon Go stops, very little gyms and very little Pokemon spawn rates, then it's kind of frustrating to be able to play that game and get the Pokemon that you want and actually have fun doing it. I, my phone, any two has been a huge lifesaver in my life because it lets me spoof my location to somewhere more fun, more exciting, and more populated to get those Pokemon Go events going on, to catch those Pokemon. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the program, show you guys how you can use iMyPhone Any2 to spoof your location in 2024. First things first, you're going to need to find, download, and install the iMyPhone Any2 app on your desktop or laptop computer. So we're going to open up a Google tab, type in iMyPhone, exactly how it is there. The second result is going to be the Any2 program specifically. So we're going to go ahead and click on that one. So we're going to click and download that. And once it's there, we're going to double click, open it, and run through the installation process. I already have it installed on my PC, so we're just going to double click to open it up. Perfect. We're going to move that down here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen. We're going to go ahead and click get started. You're going to see that it's already found my iPhone right here. It's blocked out for you guys because it has my name on it, uh, but you can click that. I am going to go ahead and insert the cable for my iPad to use USB mode and we're going to click OK. Once that's loaded up, it's going to drop me in the middle of New York because that's the last location that I was using with this program. I like to drop in around 42nd Street over by Bryant Park. Uh, there's a good route here for Zygarde cubes um, and there's a few po Pokestops around this area as well as a gym. So I like to hit that. Uh, we're going to use the teleport mode initially. That's going to get us to the location. So I clicked on a location it's opening up teleport mode we're going to go ahead and select move now it is going to give you a cooldown timer and move that it does tell us a warning close out of all apps that use pokemon go before or you know use the gps service before moving so we're going to go ahead and move and then on the ipad we will open up our pokemon go and there we go, just like magic, I am now inside New York City. We'll go ahead and try spinning a Pokestop, and it's going to give us the items. I haven't opened up Pokemon Go today, so I can immediately start scanning items. Now, if you were using Pokemon Go on your device, you caught a Pokemon, or you did anything that interacts with the server at all on that account, you're going to need to wait the cooldown time of 2 hours 30 minutes to do this. It does change varying depending on where you last used the software or when you last used Pokemon Go itself. So keep that in mind when you're spoofing. For the rest of the video, we're gonna switch over to my phone and do it via Wi-Fi so I can have an easier time of showing you guys the video. All right, here we have Pokemon Go opened up on my phone. I am in the middle of New York near Bryant Park. We got a nice Sanctuary Raid going on there. It's been a Pokestop, show you guys how this works. Got a whooper, let's go ahead and catch that whooper. Just to show you guys that it is working, it is safe to do so. Um, I have no cooldown timer on my phone because again, this is the first time I've opened up Pokemon Go for the day. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's showcase a point option, so two spot mode. What this is gonna do is allow me to select any spot on the map, we'll go over there, and I can select I want to move. Now it's planning the route, it's going to start kicking me over there, and it's going to let me start walking. I am walking really, really, really ridiculously slow. So what we're going to do is we are going to pause, adjust and toggle the meters per second. Most people walk at three meters per second, but I'm a little bit of a fast walker, so we're going to bump that up to six. In between walking, jogging, and so forth. So that's going to move me on Pokemon Go. It's going to get me, you know, a little bit 
faster of a speed, still within the realm of possibility for us to be realistically using. And it's going to generate some Pokemon for me as I walk to try and catch. And I can spin the Pokestops along the way. And we are almost to the end of our walk here. And the route is completed. It also saved it in my records. So if I ever want to do that route again, I can quickly and easily do so. That is going to come in very handy in just a few moments. The next one we're going to showcase is going to be this multi-spot mode here. And this one works particularly well for routes. So I have here a route that I'm going to select. So I'm just going to select courses along this route here and try to keep it as close to what the route actually looks like as possible. And it's nothing too crazy to have to navigate towards. We're going to come back here and it is going to go roughly over this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this route and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So click follow and let the device do the rest. And then we just pause and complete the route. Yes, I am sure we want to complete that. That is quickly and easily using the multi-spot function. So we'll go ahead and showcase the joystick function. All right, joystick mode is pretty self-explanatory. It is the second to last icon on the right up there. It looks like a joystick. Uh, the left and right keys on your keyboard turn and pivot your character in a circle while forward and backwards moves your character up and down on the map. Pretty self-explanatory. I do enjoy this one for following routes because you can pinpoint and be precise in your directions. The last thing that I wanted to showcase for today's video is this information search icon up here. It's the Pokeball in the upper right-hand corner. This one is super handy for filling in your Pokedex. For example, I need to find a Corsola. So I'm going to go ahead and search under Pokemon Search and let the system find me a Corsola. This is going to showcase some options for Corsola that's been found in the game recently. Most of these are gonna be in Florida or Texas. I've already located one inside Texas, so we will go ahead and skip to that. As I had shown you guys a few moments ago, I had searched for a Corsola in this little thing here. It also yielded me results of Corpus Christi, Texas, so I've been walking up and down the coastline after teleporting there, just waiting for the cooldown timer to run out so that I could safely catch Pokemon again. I did have to wait the two hour cooldown time because I transported from New York to Corpus Christi, Texas, but the cooldown time is now done, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch my Corsola that I found in this location. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We're going to use a nice berry and we're going to use a Ultra Ball. But that's just showing you guys that that search does work. I can search any Pokemon. It'll give me places where they've been caught. I can teleport to that location, let the cooldown timer run out, and then walk up and down the area looking for that Pokemon to spawn. This is a really cool program, guys. I'm excited that I was able to partner with iMyPhone Any2 to bring you guys this video. In the description below, you will find a link to the iMyPhone Any2 software for your PC or laptop. Give it a download, install it. It will let you do a free trial of the software before purchasing, and it will let you do everything that I just showcased in today's video for you guys. There is also going to be a discount code as well on the screen right here, as well as in the description below that will get you 10% off of your subscription with this software. A huge thank you to you guys for watching this video as well as iMyPhone Any2 for sponsoring today's video. It means the world to me. I'm super glad I, I got a partner with a software and with a company that I already use their products. I love it when that happens because I have nothing but positive things to say about the stuff that I do use. So thank you guys once again. I'll catch you guys in another video.